Hello again, uh, Bill Pfeiffer speaking from Mary's Field. Uh, do remember to uh, press the uh, subscribe uh, button and the like button as well. It does something good for us. Um, today, uh, I was just thinking, uh, Cindy and I, we prayed for uh, what we call the big three. Uh, John Roberts, uh, Mr. Biden, the president, and uh, Nancy Pelosi. Uh, we say a rosary for them every I guess it's 14 days. Every day, every morning, we pray for one of our children. If people in our immediate family, that's about 13. And then we pray one for Mary, one for the poor souls the next day, and then one for the uh, the big three, uh, Roberts, Biden, and Pelosi. They certainly need it. Uh, they need the wisdom uh, to be able to do the right thing on a regular basis, and that certainly doesn't seem uh, uh, to be happening uh, these days. Um, a little bit of a, a potpourri today. Uh, uh, one of the things that has uh, really uh, stretched my my head in the last couple of days is Jim Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh is the uh, the head coach, a very very successful head coach. Uh, I'm not sure at University of Michigan or Michigan State. And as a uh, Catholic uh, layman, he has uh, spoken out against the the horrors and the nightmare that is abortion. Taken a lot of grief for that, as you can imagine, and. Uh, uh, not, not, not a nice thing, but here's a man who has risked his whole vocation, his whole life, his whole future as a, as, as a football coach, at least there, he'll probably get something somewhere else, maybe, unless the people against him are, are uh, as strong as, uh, as he is for, for doing what is right. Uh, but, uh, you know, what a sad thing that is, you know, the, uh, you know, he has done what uh, Cardinal Dolan and all of the American bishops haven't done, and they should have done it by, uh, the, 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 the job that they have, you know, and that just doesn't make any sense, does it? You know, by and large, the bishops are good people. They really have a difficult job. It's a very important, responsible job and so on, but they're just not good leaders. You know, they, uh, they've they risen in the church institution like all people rise in all institutions by not rocking the boat, by uh, pleasing the people above them, and, uh, and by never saying no. And then they are able to, uh, you know, become a, a bishop of, of some diocese somewhere, and they have no ability to risk. They have no ability to stand out, to be able to take the, the, the make the, the, the difficult decision. You know, it's better to say no to taking the job than not to do it. Uh, but, you know, that just doesn't happen. It's a difficult thing. I mean, I'm not saying that it's not a hard thing for them to do, but they really do need to... Uh, to um, you know, step up, and, and, and there's just no leadership. There's no leadership. Very few of them have spoken out strongly against, if nothing else, at least the Pelosi and Biden position on, on abortion, which is just uh, just outrageous, you know? Uh, and here's a fellow Jim Harbaugh, a layman, living his life, living his faith, and, um, you know, terrible thing. And there's a, there's a nice quote I used to use with the kids that says, nothing is more rewarding than to watch someone who says it can't be done get interrupted by someone actually doing it. And there's Jim Harbaugh, you know, putting himself on the line. And that, that, that that's just a, a, you know, a wonderful thing. And the people that are objecting are are, uh, you know, trying to blow out uh, his candle, blow out someone else's candle. And, and doing that doesn't make your candle shine any brighter. But, you know, that's what the, these, uh, the, the people that are against him are, are in fact doing. And uh, we, uh, I, I just heard as well yesterday that if it, it continues uh, by the end of the year, we will have 10 million new immigrants here in this country country and you know that's a that's a good thing uh, you know to have people come into your country the fresh ideas and whatever but the, the system is already overloaded and it, it can't handle all of these people and I think maybe it's and we're ending up doing not a nice thing uh, for the people allegedly letting them in and then where are the jobs where are the housing where are the food you know all of those kinds of things and 10 million that's an awful lot of people if we would let people in in a, in a, in a some kind of a process way uh, we would be able to care for them and to to do the kind and loving and gentle thing that Jesus really asks of us. Uh, so doing good is a good thing, and, and, and it's a wonderful thing, but it has to be done in a way that, 
you know, actually uh, helps the people that are, are being are in need. You know, at this particular point, I just heard we right nearby here. There's a place where they are able to produce in in 26 or 27 days a six pound uh, chicken. You know, why not build factories for people where they're living and and produce uh, six pound chickens in 27 or 28 days and take care of us uh, at least part of their problems uh, with with food. But uh, you know, we don't do that. We just you know end up making some other kind of decision that really doesn't kind of kind of make sense so you know doing good is one thing but making sure you're doing the right thing it's a, the Abbe Pierre in Paris that he was took care of the rag pickers and he would say I'll give you a night uh, of sleeping here and I'll give you a reason in the morning to get up and then to get out and to do something and maybe that's a uh, part of the thing that we you know that we need to, to do I am reminded when I think of all of this of Etienne um, uh, Grelet as uh, wonderful lines when he said I shall pass through this life but once any good therefore that I can do or any kindness that I can show to any fellow creature let me do it now let me not defer or neglect it for I shall not pass this way again all the kind of, of uh, sentiments that, that good people everywhere have and want to do good things for people. But, you know, you just can't uh, do the next knee-jerk uh, response to a situation and not be able to really take care of it, uh, take care of it ultimately. And to be able to, like Jim Harbaugh, to have the courage and strength to live his faith and to be able to do this, we're looking for the bishops in this country to do that. They're supposed to be the leaders, and we're looking for them to... Uh, uh, to to carry on and to do the things that uh, that are res that they are responsible for doing as a result of the job, I just read yesterday in Gaudium et Spes. It's one of the documents from Vatican II. In every age, the Church carries the responsibility of reading the signs of the times and interpreting them in the light of the gospel. This is church business, you know, people who say you're getting involved in things that aren't, uh, you're, you're a bailiwick are, are, are just, just not, not informed at all. This is the work of the church. And to be able to confront people that are doing wrong things, wh whoever they are and wherever they are, is a good thing. And it's a risky thing and it's not an easy thing to do, particularly in an age like this where uh, almost anything is considered legitimate and, and uh, acceptable by the culture, the feeling terribly failing culture in which we we live so um, you know, do renew your own strength your own courage uh, to be able to do the things uh, uh, that are right and uh, and uh, uh, it just uh, it's just marvelous to, you know to, to have some people around like uh, Jim Harbaugh uh, being able to share his uh, his courage uh, with with the rest of us good to be with you again uh, keep on going and keep us in your prayers and and uh, maybe uh, uh, you can pick up a rosary and say one uh, uh, and pray one uh, 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 like Cindy and I do each day. It's a good thing. It gives us the opportunity to come together to be able to pray for the people in our family and for the people in our country that uh, do indeed need help. God bless you. Happiness tomorrow always begins by doing the truth today.